वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू दिस वेरी एक्साइटिंग सेशन ऑन नेटवर्क एनालिसिस बिकॉज हेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द ट्रिक्स विच ऑलवेज इंटरेस्ट इंजीनियर्स वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व हेयर वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स नेटवर्क लाइक लेडार नेटवर्क एंड दैट टू विदाउट के वी एल एंड के सी एल आई नो दैट यू ऑल डोंट लाइक के सी एल एंड के वी एल सो वी हैव डिवाइज सम मैथड्स सो दैट वी कैन फाइंड आउट द solution of these equations without kvl and kcl this is the first question here we have to find out the equivalent resistance so let us uh, try to find out the equivalent resistance uh, this equivalent resistance which we have to find is uh, when we are looking from this point this arrow you can see so we have to find the equivalent resistance between these two points okay so now let us uh, try to find out what is the equivalent resistance and uh, if you can see here these three resistances these three resistances are in series these three resistances are in series and that's why the series combination value of these three resistances is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 ohms and now if we replace these two by one resistance which is 6 ohm then it would not be wrong this 6 ohm will be connected in parallel to this 6 ohm so this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm in parallel would become 3 ohms now this 3 ohm will be here instead of this 6 ohm this has become 3 ohms now this 3 ohm this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm are now in series and that's why the combination in series will become 9 ohms and this 3 ohms will become here 9 ohms in parallel to this and this 9 ohm and this 9 ohm are now in parallel so the equivalent resistance we can find out from here uh sorry equivalent resistance of 9 ohm and 9 ohm Uh, will come out to be nine by two ohms, and now this nine ohm, this nine by two ohms, and this nine ohm, all three resistances are in series. So this series combination we can find out that nine plus this nine by two plus nine will be equal to forty five by two. So this is the equivalent resistance. now let us move on to the next question the next question is the current i in the circuit shown in the figure we need to find out this uh, current i so what we need to do first we need to simplify this network this uh, if we start to uh, simplify this network then this 2 ohm and this 4 ohm are in series this 2 ohm and this 4 ohm are in series and the equivalent of this will become 2 plus 4 will be equal to 6 ohms and now this 6 ohm so we can write here 6 ohm 12 ohm parallel with 6 ohms now this uh, 12 ohm in parallel with 6 ohm we can calculate by a very easy formula that 6 ohm into 12 ohm upon 6 ohm plus 12 ohm always if the two resistances are in parallel you can use directly this formula you product uh, take the product of those uh, two resistances and uh, upon the summation of two resistances and the value will be 4 ohms okay so now this uh, 12 ohm can be replaced by 4 ohms and now this 4 ohm and this 2 ohm you can see these are in series and it will become 6 ohms so this 2 ohm plus 4 ohm is 6 ohms 
here 6 ohm one resistance 6 ohm second resistance and this 6 ohm third resistance so these all three 6 ohm resistances are connected between these two points here you can see 6 ohm and this one 6 ohm all three six resistances are connected between two, these two points and that's why these three resistances of six ohm are in parallel and we can find the equivalent value by taking the parallel of these three resistances and it will come out to be two ohms now this two ohm instead of these three six ohm resistances we can write uh, it two ohms in parallel with two ohms this 2 ohm in parallel with 2 ohm will become 1 ohm and this 3 ohm then now will be in series with this 1 ohm and that's why the equivalent circuit would come out to be 100 volt connected in parallel with a 4 ohm resistance this 3 plus 1 4 ohm resistance this is the equivalent circuit so 100 volts upon 4 ohm would become the desired current and the right option uh, I, we can easily choose will be 100 upon 4 that is 25 amperes friends this question was asked in nfl and uh, most of the questions which we are discussing here in these sessions are uh, all from some competitive exams so these competitive exams always design questions so that you can solve them smartly not by kvl or kcl or some hard work they want you to be smart and they expect you to solve them by the easiest possible method. So this is the uh, easiest possible method. However, with practice, you will develop the caliber to solve these questions in a easiest method. So just keep on watching these videos and you will definitely dev develop this caliber. Now let us move to the next question. This is the next question we have taken. It is from Bharat Electronics Limited. Uh, now in this question what we have to find out we need to find out sorry first we take one more question okay uh, this question we are taking we need to find out the current transfer ratio the current transfer ratio that is i i1 this i1 upon this i2 so now let us find out uh, we have assumed that let this current be 1 and if this current is 1 ampere and it is passing through 4 ohm resistance 2 plus 2 that is 4 ohm then in parallel there is a 2 ohm resistance so through if from here it is passing 4 ohm uh, 1 ohm 1 ampere then definitely from here it will pass 2 amperes why because this resistance value is half than this so if resistance is half the current will be double it is the proportional rule if resistance is half the current flowing will be double in, in two parallel arms ok so these are golden rules you always try to remember them now if we know this uh, current and we know that this resistance is uh, uh, on one end it is grounded so this uh, va minus 0 upon 2 would be equal to 2 amperes or we can simply say that the potential of point va would be uh, 0 plus 2 into this 2 because this will be the potential difference across this resistance 2 resistance and 2 amperes current so va would come out to be 2 ohms into 2 amperes is equal to 4 volts now if we know this va 4 volts then we can find out uh, this current is 2 ampere now from here there is uh, two currents going one is this 1 ampere and one is this 2 ampere so from here it has to also supply this point 2 ampere to this point 1 ampere to this point so here it will go 3 amperes okay 
so from 2 ohm resistance the current going is 3 ampere if we know the voltage of this point the point vb will be 2 into this current uh, uh, this potential difference between VA and VB is 6 volts 2 into 3 6 volts and we know the potential of point VA it is already 4 volts so if we add this potential difference 2 into 3 6 volts to this 4 volt then it will get the potential of VB here we have taken 4 volts which is VA and again we have added the potential difference of this resistance the potential difference of this resistance is 2 into 3 6 so 4 plus 2 into 3 the potential difference comes out to be 10 volts so the VB becomes 10 volts now we know VB and uh, here uh, the current going is 3 ampere from VB we can calculate the current flowing in the 2 ohm resistance. The current flowing will be 10 upon this resistance. Voltage upon resistance becomes the current. So from here the current going is 10 upon 2 that is 5 amperes. From here it is going 3 amperes. From here it is going 5 amperes. So from here it has to supply both these currents 5 ampere plus 3 ampere so I2 would become 8 amperes I2 would become 8 amperes now I2 is 8 amperes so what we need to find out we need to find out I1 upon I2 I1 is uh, we have already calculated it is 2 and I2 we have calculated as 8 so 2 upon 8 would be 1 upon 4 that is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 would be the right answer now moving ahead to the next question which is all also asked in BL and it is somewhat related to the previous question here also we are assuming the current as 1 ampere in this question we need to find out the voltage transfer ratio VC this VC upon VA this voltage transfer ratio we need to find so now we start by uh, this current uh, here flowing is 1 ampere only so when this 1 ampere current is flowing from here uh, we have already found out in our uh, previous question that voltage VA is 4 volts we have already calculated that voltage VB is 10 volts and the I2 also we have calculated in the previous question it is 8 amperes so we have taken those calculations here also now from VB we can easily calculate what is VC because VC is 2 into 8 volts above VB so 10 that is VB plus 2 into 8 the potential difference of this axis is equal to 26 volts will become the VC because uh, current always flows from the potential of uh, with, uh, the point of higher potential to point of lower potential so VC is going to be higher than VB that's why we have added this potential difference 2 into 8 16 so this has come out to be 26 volts now we know VC which is 26 volt and we also know VA which is 4 volt we can easily calculate the tr voltage transfer ratio so the voltage transfer ratio will become 26 upon 4 that is uh, oh it is uh, not 26 upon 4 it is 4 upon 26 uh, the question in the question we have asked VA upon VC VA there is some printing mistake VA upon VC so the VA upon VC would become 4 upon 26 that is 2 upon 13 the answer would come out to be 2 upon 13 thank you friends uh, these are the questions which we are solving without using any KVL or KCL be in touch and please subscribe Technitude thank you